The next question says dulcet. Dulcet must be again a new word. Friends, dulcet means very sweet. In terms of what? In terms of your voice, in terms of your tone. You know, some people when they speak, it's so soothing, right? So you can consider that also as a synonym over here. Very soothing. Another word what you can keep in mind is mellifluous. For example, Shreya Koshal, every time when she sings, she sings so mellifluously. It's so good to listen to any of her songs. It gives you goosebumps all over your body, right? So that's the meaning of dulcet. So from that perspective, the answer to this question has to be sweet. The next question what I have for all of you is beguile. Friends, beguile actually means to deceive. You're a person, you always wear a mask on your face. You're trying to please everyone, look goody goody outside, but internally you have your own plans your own intentions that's the meaning of big eye by any chance if you do not know the meaning of the word bitter friends bitter bitter means to discourage or in other words to demotivate repel repel means to force away or drive away in other words my dear friends you are a person who revolts again things so you can keep this word rebel in your mind to understand the meaning of the word repel these two can help us to keep the meaning of the word repel for a longer duration okay so from every perspective the answer to the question has to be option a let's see sanctimonious i don't know how many of you know this word called sanctity sanctity basically means holiness something which you respect to the core okay there is a sanctity to the stage. There is a sanctity to every profession. There is a sanctity to every religious custom what you follow. That's the meaning of sanctity. Don't worry, sanctimonious has nothing to do with you being holy or devotional or religious. Because friends, sanctimonious basically means you faking your devotion or showing off to people as if you are too spiritual and you are into following a lot of customs of the religion or the faith what you follow. So from that perspective, the correct answer to this question definitely has to be impious because friends, impious and pious are opposites of each other. Pious means you are genuinely into devotion. Uh, you have devoted yourself towards devotion. You follow the custom, the culture of, of the faith, what you actually believe in, that's the meaning of pious, okay? Pious and uh, uh, impious are antonyms to each other. Friends, empirical. Empirical basically means you are a person who wants to learn everything by verifying. Means you're not a person who would like to learn anything via theory. Rather, you want to learn everything by practice, experiments, okay? So, I can call it as a verified learning. Modeling, this must be a new word to all of us. Basically, modeling means self-pitying. So, from all the perspectives, my dear friends, the answer to the question sanctimonious has to be impious. Admonish. Now, we are getting into antonym section. Admonish means what? To demean a person? To put a person down, in other words, insult or make a person embarrass, making someone feel abashed. Two more words what you can keep in mind as synonyms which might help you in the future. One is censure. Censure basically means to criticize, in other words, to demean the person, uh, to make the other person feel very inferior. Okay? Another word is reprimand. I reprimanded him. In one way, it is I put him down. I literally criticized him left, right and center. So, admonish is equal to demean. Demean is equal to insult. Insult is equal to embarrass. Embarrass is equal to abashed. Abashed is equal to censure. Censure is equal to reprimanded. And reprimanded is equal to condemn. Friends, option A, what they have given is actually the synonym of the word admonish. So from that perspective, definitely the answer to this question 
which can be the antonym of the word admonish has to be option C, which means praise. When you praise a person, you are appreciating the person. Correct? You are admiring the person. You are glorifying the person. Or you are even exalting the person. I must tell you, Praise is equal to appreciate, appreciate is equal to admire, admire is equal to glorify, glorify is equal to exalt. All the five words are synonyms to one another. So the answer to this question has to be option C. Obscure. Obscure means something which is not clear. Something which is not clear. Where because of no accuracy or clarity, there is confusion. In other words, ambiguity so as you're looking for the antonym of the word obscure definitely the answer has to be option a which means clear because obscure means not clear clear opposite of not clear so the answer has to be option a the next question what i have for all of you my dear friends is affable basically affable means friendly likable three words what i really want all of you to keep in your mind which can help you in many competitive exams one is amenable amicable one more is congenial friends affable is equal to friendly friendly is equal to likable likable is equal to amiable amiable is equal to amicable amicable is equal to congenial congenial is equal to pleasant all these words are synonyms okay so it's very easy to now guess the answer because the opposite of that has to be definitely surly. Friends, surly means rude or rash because a person who is very rude or rash cannot be friendly, cannot be likable, cannot be amiable, definitely cannot be congenial. Okay, so affable and surly antonyms to each other. Friends, enigmatic means full of secret. In other words, mysterious. So, you know, there are a lot of people who are so enigmatic. In fact, the best example is most of the celebrities. What they might be doing personally might not be the same thing what they must might be trying to show it off outside. So they live quite an enigmatic life. I think they have to because their personal life is usually taken for granted by we the fans can't help it so the answer to this question definitely has to be option a that is simple because a person who is very simple usually will not have any secrets or would not choose to live any mysterious life okay by any chance uh, friends you do not know the meaning of the word reticent reticent means silent quiet or taciturn a word which is very important for synonyms and antonyms question please do not forget and last but definitely not all the least reserved so from every perspective the answer to the question has to be option a simple palatable friends i don't know whether you have heard this word called palate whenever we usually make a lot of uh, pronunciation exercises we use touch your upper palate, touch your lower palate with your uh, tongue. This is what we say. Okay. So that can help you to keep the meaning of this word for a longer duration. So from that perspective, palatable means something which is so good to your palate. In other words, very tasty or delicious. Okay. Like full of taste. So from that perspective, the answer to this question has to be tasteless. Friends, portable, portable means drinkable, edible means eatable and appealing means very convincing. He is full of charm. It's so appealing. Her words are so appealing. I think uh, um, their car is so appealing. You know, anything can be appealing. The answer to this question, my dear friends, certainly has to be option A. Culpable. What's the meaning of culpable? Friends, this is how I kept the meaning of this word for a longer duration in my mind. You can keep the word culprit in mind. Usually, culprit is a person who deserves to be blamed. 
in such a manner that even if the law or people punish culprits or the people who are guilty, you don't feel bad. Why? Because they deserve to be blamed. They deserve to be punished. Okay. So in simple words, what you can keep is culpable means blameful. So from that perspective, the answer to this question has to be blameless. Culpable, blameful, blameless will be the antonym of this question. Palatial. Friends, palatial basically means very impressive something extraordinary and i should tell you i kept this word in a different manner for me palatial is all about uh, palace like i'm sure you must have seen one or the other palace usually palaces are so extravagant so luxurious so impressive you just feel like looking at them over and over again right so palatial also means the same Anything very impressive, splendid, extravagant, regal. Regal also means very impressive. Okay. Uh, so, all these words are synonyms of palatial. As we are looking for antonym, definitely the answer to this question has to be miserable, which is the opposite of impressive or extraordinary or splendid.